Let's play video games! Hello and welcome back to Hard On Gaming, where the games are hard and so am I. I'm your host, Big Stiffy, and this is Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Last episode, I got a lot of evil things. I got damage up. My game seems to be running a little bit slow uh, this this time around. I'm not entirely sure what that's all about. Um, so let's see. I don't know that there's anything I may have forgotten on this level. Something tells me that there isn't, but let's make sure. Let's see, I've been to pretty much everywhere, actually. Uh, let's just uh, do a quick level check to see if there's any blue bricks that I can get. So, recently... I've been watching quite a bit of movies, uh, mostly stuff that I've actually already seen, but just re-watching because I don't know what else to do with myself. And uh, ooh, I actually think that's a blue brick. Oh shit, what did I just do? Alright, um, damn it, what the hell's the fucking, I kept pressing the wrong fucking keys. Oh, look at that. I got lots of bombs. Fantastic. Glad I wasted that one key on it. Um, so yeah, I've been watching a lot of movies, uh, or re-watching a lot of movies, I should say. And um, one of the movies that I have recently watched is um, Donnie Darko. Uh, now, I wasn't that big of a fan when I f saw Donnie Darko the first time, because I, I didn't think it was, like, as fantastic as everybody kept, uh, praising it. Um, but I decided to watch it again recently, and, uh, I, I still wasn't that impressed. Um, for the most part... Donnie Darko doesn't seem to be a, that deep of a movie. Uh, but, uh, I guess most people like it because it's like their their first experience with like um, a like a real meta concept like um, like time travel and such. And like how time travel can af can affect everything, and I don't know, not that impressing to me because I I've seen and read through a lot of content that had that same theme to it. And Jesus, I'm not finding a fucking secret room. All right, I'm just gonna go down to the next level before I waste all my bombs. Um. Actually, I wonder if uh, I wonder if there might be a secret room right here. Uh, nope, nothing. All right, let's go. So, like, I've I've read quite a few comic books that uh, go into like this whole uh, reality shattering. Uh, these re these reality shattering concepts like uh, traveling between dimensions and through time and and everything, and it is really trippy stuff, and I I do enjoy it quite a bit, but I don't know, um, Donnie Darko just it I don't know it's like it didn't know it didn't really set the mood as well as it should have at least I don't think what the fuck is this. Telepathy for dummies. Temporary psychic shot. Alright. I guess I'll check that out. See what that does. And, um... I think it was before I watched... I rewatched Donnie Darko that... Uh, I watched another movie with similar themes and concepts. 
the movie's called John Dies at the End. And I'm pretty sure this movie is based on a book of the same title. Um, it's just like it's just like a visual adaptation of it. And um, that movie, that too, had a lot of trippy concepts, but it seemed to be more like just a general drug trip rather than like this this deep philosophical or like metaphysical concept because uh, it just it combined a lot of things that made it almost seem like the movie was schizophrenic in itself um, what the hell uh Alright. I don't know what the hell that is. And don't get me wrong. Oh, shit. Don't get me wrong. The movie wasn't, like, that bad. But it, it definitely wasn't, like, anything to really brag about, I don't think. Um... It, it just, I don't know, it just had too many weird, like, um, god, what do I even call it? It had a lot of weird segues to it, if, if that's what you could call it. Um, and that, that itself is not too terrible, but there was, like, really no transition, there was really no smooth transition between segues. Uh, in the movie, which that made it kind of shit. So I don't know. If you've if you've never seen a lot of movies with um, with really like trippy psychedelic uh, or metaphysical concepts to it, uh, John dies at the end. I think does a better job than what um, Donnie Darko does. At, at trying to delve into the whole insanity of the thing. Whereas uh, Donnie Darko is just like, I don't know, just like this really depressed teenage kid. And that made it really un unenjoyable for me. Uh, fucking magnet tears. Let's see, what's another movie I watched recently? I rewatched Event Horizon. And, uh. That movie was. Uh, I don't know. I don't think that movie has, like, too much rewatchability. Like, once you've seen it once, you'll probably never forget anything in it, and, uh. Uh, that doesn't make it, like, too entertaining to watch a second time, I don't think. But, I mean, it's it's overall still a pretty good movie. And, um... Oh shit, did I just go in a circle? I did, didn't I? Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna have to adjust the quality on this, because, uh... The frame rate has gone down yet again. Uh, let's see. There's a few there's a few movies I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to watch that I have my that I have in my library. Um, got some real old movies that I haven't really watched. 
uh, there's the Tingler, which, uh, oh fuck, if I could remember anything about the guy, I cannot remember what the name of the actor is, um, he had, he had this really unforgettable voice, but, um, I simply just can't remember what his name was. Um, he's not alive anymore, I know that much. Uh, let's see, is there any bricks in here I can blow up? No, it doesn't look like it. Damn, I'm gonna have to look up what the, what the actor's name was. But, uh, yeah, he received a lot of notoriety because of his, uh... The fuck? What does this do? He received a lot of notoriety for his, uh, voice. And he, he's a pretty good actor, I think. He was... I actually think one of the last movies he was in... No, that couldn't have been it. I was thinking if it was the same actor that was in, uh movie with, uh, shit, what the hell was her name, uh, damn, can't remember, f I cannot remember actors' names, I was never big on trivia, so I never put, like, too much, too much stock into remembering actors' names, uh, it, it was a child actress, um, uh, god damn, what the hell, what, she was part of some Disney show, and fuck me if I could remember what the hell it was. Oh, fuck! I've never been up against this boss before, I don't know what his attacks are. Uh... Oh, Christ! They've split via mitosis! Oh no. That's not good. Oh, oh. Oh, fuck, no! Shit! Oh my god. I'm moving so slowly. Oh, fuck. God damn it. All right. Well, that wasn't very good. Let's restart, I guess. Yeah, there was a uh, the actor I was thinking of. Um, I'm not sure if he was in the movie or not, but there was. It, yeah, it might be. It might be someone totally different than than who I'm thinking of. Uh, if you've ever heard. Uh, the Monster Mash. I think he was the guy whose voice was at the very beginning of it. Oh, fuck. I always hit the wrong fucking key. Bombs are key. I don't know what that does! Damn it! Uh, I got nothing. But, uh, there, were, there was a... There was a movie of Casper Meets Wendy. It was um, a live action movie with uh, heavy amounts of CGI for Casper and his and his uncles. Um, and I think the actor from The Tingler was in Casper Meets Wendy. I might be completely wrong on that, but um, Yeah, I seem to remember that it was the same guy. I think it was. I don't know. I'm gonna have to look it up. I'll I'll put more information like uh, in the video during editing. Um, oh, fuck. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Oh god, this has me totally stumped. Damn, this is really gonna bug me. Uh, but yeah, he's a pretty good actor. Uh, I think. Uh, and he had an amazing voice. Like, uh... 
his voice was pretty much one of the best things ever, besides the uh, announcer voice for like uh, movie trailers, where pretty much every fucking trailer always started off with "In a world without whatever" or you know stuff like that. Um. Yeah, that guy. I'm not sure if that guy is actually still alive anymore. The guy who did those, uh, like, the voiceovers for movie trailers. I think he actually did die recently. Or maybe not recently, but I don't know. I never keep track of this shit. Uh, oh, and it looks like I'm at 16 minutes. So I'm going to have to wrap up the video here and pick up next time. So until next time, take care, Internet. I will see you in space.